siempre he comentado que para mí la señal de una ciudad sana y que está prosperando es el arte. Entonces, para mí sí es muy importante que la gente, que esto cree como un espacio para comenzar una conversación. Art is very important as a way for us to communicate our dreams. Our community mural is a display of happiness and a, a display of well-being, and that's what we want to transmit through this mural. Art has a way, just helps people with their expression. Here's a place where we can use art therapy in a public environment and bring together people who can start to dream and start to think beyond their current realities and memorialize some of their roots, some of their histories. And that becomes a very beautiful moment for their mental health and for their moving past and, and moving forward and being together, but also healing. Futuro is all about well-being for our community and the mural is an extension of what we stand for. Culture plays a huge role in how we perceive mental health. Um, as a Latina myself, mental health wasn't something that we talked about, and especially in the Latinx community. And in a way, we're, I think, allowing a space to destigmatize mental health and allowing a space for us to say that it's okay for us to talk about mental health and it's okay for us to seek services when we need to. And it's okay to talk about things that most of the times we try to keep en our house, lo que se habla en la casa, se queda en la casa. Cuando una persona sufre de un problema mental o una depresión, es como algo visto como una persona débil. Y esto en la cultura latina se esconde mucho en las familias. Mi mamá es participante en ese programa. Esta organización en mi familia ha sido una bendición. Mental illness is in the family. Substance abuse is in the family and in our genes. And when it comes up, it's really hard to know who to turn to. And especially if you're in a new culture, a new environment, a lot of people come to the United States, come to North Carolina, and they have a lot of aspiration to get ahead economically, to get jobs, to get an education, to grow family relationships here. But a lot of families move together, they come here, and they want to see a brighter future. And our, our name of our organization is El Futuro because we're very in line with that. The mural is reflecting all the dreams from our community. It's not an idea that we just had and we made it happen. There's a lot of community input. We went knocking doors on our neighbors. We went reaching out to them also to invite them to come to El Primer Rochazo because it was important. This mural is for them, it's for our community, it's for our immediate neighbors to feel welcome. We heard about public art and we thought that would be pretty interesting to incorporate that at El Futuro, but maybe that would have something through the art, do something that would help to really foster community, foster connections, um, bring people together in a way that uh, they don't feel uh, when they're uprooted from communities and they leave those rich social fabrics behind, come here, work multiple jobs or in this very a cold environment for them, how can we start to reconnect people? Because we know that that's a very positive impact on health and especially mental health. 
venimos con mi mamá. Más que nada apoyarla a ella. Mi niño pintó, es, es algo que te da orgullo porque es algo como comunitario, es algo bonito para compartir como familia. Y saber de que lo pintaron, va a estar aquí un buen tiempo y saber que tú pusiste tu granito de arena para, para que se creara el muro. At first, it was just a blank space of beer bottles and trash, and it just looked terrible. Uh, but we, we envisioned more. We thought, well, we could maybe do a therapeutic garden. Concurrent with that, we heard about this opportunity for the mural. And as we started to vet this with neighbors and people in the community, we realized the power that it could have in our community. This community especially has been fragmented by the new immigrants coming in, and also by old sections that have been gentrifying. So this mural has brought the community together to do something together in a way that we had not anticipated. La mayoría de las imágenes que ven han sido escogidas y inspiradas por la misma comunidad. Empezamos a preguntar qué les gustaría ver, qué colores y por qué, por qué es importante. Lo que la gente quiero que piense cuando vean este mural es que sientan ese sabor latino por medio de los colores y en segundo que se sientan bien ellos al estar ellos compartiendo el lugar. Existe esa conexión como cuando uno se pone pintando. ¿Por qué? Porque la gente se siente atraída por lo que uno hace y es lo importante de estos murales porque la importancia de esto es de tratar de unirse como comunidad, como personas desconocidas. Such a welcoming space and especially with the Latinx community nowadays not feeling very welcome in a lot of spaces and the fact that we have a space for them not only to come here but to be outdoors in a space that got fresh air and that there's trees and that there's water and that there's this beautiful mural with these beautiful colors so they know that this space is for them. That sense of coming together, that we can come from all different walks of life, that we can come from all different places, speak different languages. For me, I just find this sense of joy that comes over me when I look at that mural and a sense of nostalgia. I'm from New York and there's a part of the Lady Liberty and that gives me just that sense of like, have a little bit of home as well here. It's this desire of helping, this desire of reflecting your dreams because that's what the mural is. Can't wait for everybody to come and see it and being part of that and feel that happiness that the mural is displaying. Visibly Speaking is a production of PBS North Carolina in association with the Z. Smith Reynolds Foundation.